David Carr's important column in the New York Times on December 11th, titled When Truth Survives Free Speech, highlights the gray area in the blogosphere between freedom of speech and defamation. A Portland, Oregon lawyer who was in good standing was awarded two and a half million dollars in defamation damages by a judge who denied standing as a journalist to a blogger because her serial attacks were found to be vindictive. Carr and other journalists initially supported her under the blanket of free speech until they found out the lengths to which she went to ensure that the websites of hundreds of targets were swamped with unsubstantiated allegations. She manipulated search engine algorithms to maximize the effectiveness of her attacks. As Carr concluded, quote, there's no algorithm to measure truth, unquote. The communications lesson is to make sure you monitor the internet for attacks on your brand. The sooner you find one, the better the chance you can contain it. Engage the blogger carefully. Often all they want is attention and acknowledgement, after which they just may back off. If they do persist, consider mounting a counteroffensive via PR and social media. Keep legal action as a last resort only. This is Nick Peters in Washington.